All right, so uh, here we go. I actually have a little traffic to deal with getting out of my own driveway, which is always fun. I'm glad I'm not trying to back in or out. The uh, neighbor across the street that passed away several months ago, um, her family is having an estate sale today. And there aren't that many cars here, but the ones that are chose to park right in front of my driveway. Cool. Cool, man. Cool. Alright, so here's what we're doing. We are on our way to see Dr. Joseph Cipriani. I am not skeptical of all chiropractors. I know there's some ducks. Quacks. But, in general, I think chiropractic care is good. This guy's got a, a unique... Uh, mechanism he uses that um, I'm curious to see first of all, curious to see in action second of all, curious to see if it'll help um, so when I see my massage and stretch therapist on occasion she does this thing where it's almost like she's pulling my head up like lifting me by my head but I'm laying down um and that always feels so good. And I've said for a long time, I feel like I need to be lifted by my head. So when she does that, I'm like, oh yeah, that's it. That's what I really need. Well, this chiropractor has this uh, thing he calls a Y strap. And it goes around your neck, jaw area, whatever. I'm not even sure how, how to describe it exactly. Um, and he like jerks you by it. Um, most chiropractic moves, it seems, are sudden type jerks, pulls, pushes, whatever. Um, and so this thing around my neck, kind of seeing if we can yank everything back into place. Uh, sounds sounds uh, equally terrifying and no, it's not terrifying. If he kills me, he kills me. Paralyzes me. Uh, we'll see. But, you know, just really curious. Just want to see if it helps. I, 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 I didn't want to spend the money, to be honest. I really didn't want to spend the money because it's not cheap either. But um, what's funny is he, you have two options. It's um, three hundred dollars. I can't even believe I'm saying that. It's three hundred dollars for an appointment. Um, I guess I've paid more, along with the help of my insurance for different appointments that haven't done anything for me. So what the hell, I might as well pay out of pocket for something that might actually help me. Uh, however, there is an option to have an appointment with this doctor for $200. <laughs> the caveat, caveat is he gets to film the session for his YouTube channel. So, yes, a, com a competing YouTube channel to my and vast empire of YouTube. Uh, anyway, I, I went with the uh, no video please option. Um, only out of my own uh, self-consciousness about my appearance. <laughs> so, um, and it's one thing to look at my face when I'm talking to the camera. It's another thing to look at my body when I'm laying on a table. Uh, thank you, Greta Hamilton, for ruining that for me. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's where I'm headed right now. Uh, not, I know where it is. I know how to get there. I just know that there are some one-way roads in that, uh, in that area. And it's very specific about which side of the building you are able to come in. So I just wanted to make sure I gave myself plenty of time to get down there and get to the exact place to get in and walk wherever I need to walk. Um, so yeah, so there's that, uh, I had to get my father up just so I could make sure I got him all ready before I left. I wish I would have gotten him up just a little earlier and I would have, except I forgot to program the coffee maker to come on. So when I was actually getting his breakfast ready, it occurred to me that I didn't smell coffee. So boop, I had to turn that on and that's just another however however long it takes to brew that much coffee. That's a lot of coffee. 
Anyway, and it probably would have been the exact amount of extra time that I might have needed to not leave the house when he's in the bathroom. God help me. Uh, if he if he if he made a mess, I didn't have time to do anything about it because I wasn't giving up on a prepaid three hundred dollar appointment. Uh, we'll see what I come home to. I have laundry in the washing machine too that I thought would be done before I left and it wasn't. So it's going to sit there till I get home. I kind of hate doing that, but it is what it is. <clears throat> um, so the chicken that I made yesterday in the crock pot, the, uh, I made Alabama barbecue white chicken barbecue chicken Alabama sandwiches. Not exactly sure on the title. I'm, I'm almost sure that wasn't what I just said. Um, but the recipe actually did come with a white barbecue sauce, an Alabama barbecue sauce, whatever you call that. Uh, and we chose not to use that because we have found that the um, Duke's white barbecue sauce is actually pretty good. So um, I didn't feel like eating after my workout last night. Uh, it was it was a a real tough one for me. Um, like I said in yesterday's video, I, I got a season best on the ski 2,000 meters, and then I got an all-time best on my 5K row. Um, and I guess that sometimes that that overexertion, it was an overexertion, that exertion combined with a little bit of a nip in the air, and then I made the mistake of putting on a couple shirts and walking around outside for a little while in that cold air, breathing hard after that exercise. And it kind of left me coughing for a while. Coughing for a while. I was not in a coffin. Um, and so I didn't, I didn't quite feel like eating. Um, I took a couple bites that were left over of a sandwich and, um, enough for me to know that that recipe turned out pretty damn good um a whole chicken in the crock pot with just a little bit of liquid and a bunch of onion and seasons seasonings um it's the way to do it man cooking that whole chicken or kicking even if you just want breasts and you're doing bone-in breasts i mean if even if you just want breasts you got to do bone-in I'm convinced of that bone in in the crock pot is the way to do it. That extra moisture and whatnot you get from all of that. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Connective tissue and all that kind of stuff that cooks down a little bit really does moisten that meat. Oh my gosh. So I got some leftovers of that and I still have leftovers of the, I guess it was a rotisserie chicken we had earlier in the week. I probably need to eat all that today and I, I will do so happily. Um, but yeah, that Alabama, it was, uh, yeah, if I could remember the name of the website or the, uh, they had a YouTube channel. That's where, where we got the video, uh, got the recipe. Um, but yeah, it was really good. So, and easy. It, it may have been a little too close to a uh, turkey dinner, which I had in my brain uh, uh, made a point to not make anything too closely resembling a turkey Thanksgiving dinner, but still got a week, almost. So, anyway, alright, I'm rambling. I'd like to drink my coffee and uh, listen to some 80s tunes. So, I'll, uh, I'll let you go and sorry for the rambling. Talk to you later. So, there it is. Dr. Joseph Cipriano. I've been saying Cipriani. But, anyway, that is who I'm here to see. All right, so that was an interesting experience. I, um, as he requested, and which I kind of was thinking I would do anyway, I'm going to give it some time before I decide whether or not to book another appointment. Like I said, it wasn't cheap, so I don't know how often I want to be able to do that, but uh, it might just be uh, my birthday present to myself, maybe. Um, so what did I think? Well... The Y strap is definitely interesting. Uh, it was at the end of all the other normal stereotypical, well, maybe stereotype isn't the right word, but all of what you would normally expect from a chiropractor as far as 
the uh, back and neck shoulder manipulation. Um, but that Y strap is, is no joke, bro. Um, the, he did it to me three times. And uh, the first one was just bonkers. I mean, so much noise, for lack of a better term. So he asked me, of course, which I guess is part of the his process, is to, he asked me what I felt. Um, and so I told him that I, I heard, my, I perceived it as hearing my neck crack multiple times but what I felt most clearly felt was a little bit of a sharpness um, closer to uh, the middle of my back like between my shoulder blades upper edge of my, of my shoulder blades in this cat um, and he kind of manipulated a little bit got the massage gun out went all the way up Farther than I'm, I'm normally comfortable having, uh, as far as a massage gun goes, like all the way up to my neck, uh, all around my shoulders, mid back, and then he hit me again with the Y strap. Repeated that again. Hit me one more time with that damn Y strap. Um, it is, it is unique. You can, I, I do believe, you can buy Y straps on Amazon, but who are you going to trust to jerk your head like that? Um, imagine uh, you're on a guillotine. <laughs> no, a guillotine hangs you, right? Or does a guillotine cut your head off? Guillotine cuts your head off, I guess. Anyway, imagine you're being hung, and uh, except you don't die. <laughs> um, it's it's like that. It kind of like surrounds your neck, and you know, at his discretion, a tug. <laughs> um, yeah, that was unique. Will I do it again? Uh, like I said, jury's still out. Um, right off the bat, I would say maybe not. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It's hard to interpret how these things feel, especially when your nerves aren't functioning in a normal manner. So um, I'll say so far so good. Uh, is it sustainable? Is it something I want to repeat? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Uh, in the meantime, it was a unique experience. Uh, I will say, this is a little bit of a peeve of mine. I don't even, not even really sure how long I was in there. Maybe 20 to 25 minutes. But my appointment was at 1140. And I got taken in at 1230. I showed up. 20 minutes early. They say show up 10 minutes early. I showed up 20 minutes early and then I waited for over an hour. So that doesn't please me. <clears throat> I get it. Things happen. Some people, some patients take longer than others. I get that. Then don't book back to backs. Um, you know, I had, I had two personal training clients that were back to back and I always told them, we got we to gotta do this on time. We got to get our stuff done. Get it, blah, blah, blah. So, Because I got somebody right behind you. I don't want them to wait because you were late or taking too long. I don't want anybody to have to wait because I needed more time. Um, I don't know. No, not going that way. I put my turns in wrong. So, I don't know. It was good. Um, now, I'm just going to run another quick errand since I'm never in this area I thought I'd come over here and stop in a store that I haven't been to in many many years and we'll see if they got anything I'm interested in buying <laughs>